Well, now that we've got ourselves all healed up and everything, I think it's finally, finally time to take on the third gem. If I can figure out where I'm going. Now this gem is a pain, only, in my opinion, just because of the dumb puzzle. Like, I think that's like, of all the gems I've ever done, this one is just the most annoying. Every other gym I can handle is just this one. It's just, it's a guessing game. What was I doing right here? Why am I just standing there? Oh, right, I was thinking about... Getting them items and stuff. Oh, what am I looking for? I don't even remember. That was the berry pouch, so why was I moving through there? I'm trying to figure out who's the best person to give it to. Since I'm in an electric gym. I don't even know if I use Nami in this fight, though. Hmm. Yeah, I do give it to her after like a lot of thought process. Alright, I think I'm done. No, wait. Where the hell am I going? Oh, right, I remember now. I get, um, I get Duck Trio just in case, like if everything just fails horribly. No, I think about it, I should have cut that part out, but oh well. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure I don't screw around anymore. You know, while I'm doing this, there's something that's like, I read a lot of comments on certain videos, or well, any kind of videos, and a lot of people say, okay, explain this to me. I used to do such and such, then I took an arrow to the knee. Where the where the hell does that come from? I, I'm assuming it's got to come from a video game. Because any LPR I look, I read in the comics, I used to do this. And then I took an arrow to a knee. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Because, see, I, I'm always out of the loop. I'm not hip. I'm not cool. So, anytime a new fad comes out, I'm completely oblivious. And I'm like, what the hell is this? Kind of like uh, planking. When planking started like months ago. Or maybe it's been around longer than that. I don't know. All I know is I see pic pictures of people like laying down in front of something and it's called planking. You know, I'm sorry if you actually do that stuff, but I think that's like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Planking. What is the point of that? All you're doing is just laying straight across something I don't get it what is the appeal to that who started it as far as I can tell people don't do it anymore then again, I'm not I don't pay attention to half of what other people do sometimes I'm oblivious to like the social world sometimes How many trains are in here? Like four? One, two, oh, there's three. So when I go, let's see, what gem? More likely the next, yeah, the next gem will probably be Celadon. That's the, yeah, the most available gem. Yeah, it has to be Celadon. Oh, 
Oh, I remember this. I keep having Star You out in front. And I keep forgetting. I just keep forgetting it. I'm like, why do I have a water type Pokemon in the lead in an electric type gym? I kept doing that. No, Magnemite should be easy as part steel. No, that does it for that guy. Now we got one more, this gentleman guy up in the front. Scary face. No. I think I say no. Yep. Because generally he doesn't... Ace has good enough speed, he doesn't need to... Lower than other Pokemon's speed. Yeah, I finally remember. Alright, just this guy. And, uh, then we can tackle this dumb puzzle. I think I spent like two, like, what, two minutes on it? Oh, he's got a Pikachu. Alright, critical hit. Oh yeah, that's what she said joke in there. I just give him a potion. He's like, how many do I give him? Yeah, I think I give him two, but I don't... Do I use him? Yep. Yeah, I do. Here comes this fun little puzzle. You have to pick... Oh, excuse me. There, there are two switches. You have to turn it on. The next one's close by. The next one's like somewhere next to it. But if you don't pick the right one, then it resets itself and you have to do it again. And that's what I hate about it. Yeah, accidentally I was mashing the A button out of frustration and I hit the same one twice and it reset it. I mean, how many try? How many times do I try this before I finally get it? I'm gonna say like five times. It was just—it's so irritating. This has nothing, nothing to do with Pokemon. No, nothing to do with being a trainer, in my opinion. Cause I think when you come back here in the second game, <clears throat> in a Gold Silver Crystal. Or was it Heart Gold Soul Silver? The guy says, you know, this will sharpen your skills as a trainer. I'm like, that's the most ass backwards logic I've ever heard in my life. This does nothing to hone my skill. It's a guessing game. I just randomly searching trash for a button. Then again, I guess you could say a lot of the puzzles are. Are kind of pointless in gems. Do I get it this time? No, I don't. Yeah, apparently uh, Lieutenant Surge is a paranoid army vet. Seems like it. I wonder how wars work in this world. Like, I assume people just use Pokemon in the war. But then again, there. Well, I know in the well, this is just the anime. There's been hint of guns. Well, let's just see one gun in that band episode. I assume people just use Pokemon. Finally, got that out of the way. Ah, there he is. Hey kid, what do you think you're doing here? You don't live long in combat, not with your puny power. I tell you kid, unless your Pokemon save me during the war. They zap my enemies into paralysis. 
The same as I'll do to you. Yeah, I can't do his voice in the anime. It's actually pretty funny. He doesn't say Thunder Badge. He says Thun Thun. Was it Was it Thunder Badge or something? You know, Voltorb goes down easily enough. Wait, he's got, yeah, he's got a Pikachu. It's funny, the anime, he only had that one Raichu. He, like, kept calling Ash a baby. I don't know why his obsession with calling Ash a baby was. Well, he was in the army, so I guess that's that whole, I don't know, screw with your head by insulting you type thing. And here I decide for the heck of it, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna do Pikachu versus Raichu. Because, you know, the anime, <laughs> damn anime influence, the damn anime influenced my decision on this. Now hopefully, uh, maybe I can pull out a win like Ash did. Well, of course Ash had to do it twice. Got his ass kicked the first time. Probably would have made more sense to use a Bulbasaur the second time he went. Or catch a ground type, but since steel type moves didn't run invented back then. But uh you know. I guess they had to make it Pikachu's story. And they rehashed that story again in uh what was it? Diamond and Pearl, they rehashed it. I don't care what anybody says, they rehashed it. It was uh, the episode called Pika vs. Goliath. He meets some trainer with a... He had a Pichu and a Raichu. And this Raichu, what it does, is it pins Pikachu against the tree with its tail, and then Pikachu gets a hyper beam <laughs> at point-blank range to the face. Which is pretty hilarious. And then the guy's like, after the battle, he's like... You know, you want to trade your Pikachu, and you know Ash is how it, Ash is about trading. He like freaking flips out. He's like, "No, I'm not gonna trade my Pikachu," and he's like yelling, because you know Ash, Ash can't do anything without yelling. He can't, he can't prove a point by remaining calm. No, he has to yell. And so they do that whole Pikachu's in the hospital, critical condition, and then Ash still has that Thunderstone. And he's like, "Uh, I should evolve. Uh, should I evolve it or something?" I think Paul told him he should, but then again, yeah, that's Paul. And then Paul has a point. But uh, then Pikachu gets up and leaves the uh, hospital. Oh, there's some subplot with Team Rocket too, like, because Ash left the Thunderstone by Pikachu's bed in case he wanted to use it, but Team Rocket had taken it. Uh, I think just because they were rooting for Pikachu, I have no idea Team Rocket's retarded. So Pikachu trains, and then Ash does. Pikachu learns some kind of spinning strategy and wins blah 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 oh man it this was a very tough decision Remember earlier I said it was kinda like a sort of anticlimactic or did I say climatic end yeah I won it was so close I mean so many things could have went wrong I mean it had like three four double teams and I was paralyzed, so there's a chance I could have missed or been paralyzed. But it worked out. Because I, I could have been screwed unless it got paralyzed, which, knowing my luck, it probably wouldn't have happened. But I won, and the best part was, I didn't even heal. Not once. I didn't heal. I didn't... do any stat modifiers like use X attacks or whatever I went through that fight paralyzed with you know the whole evasion thing in effect and I mean that was a huge risk I went for that Thunderbolt because I thought it would do just enough damage to finish it off but it didn't if I had known that if I put that barrier on Pikachu it might have turned out a little better Actually, no, I actually liked it like this. The fact that it came down to, like, luck and just who's going to get the first hit. Oh, yeah, I know that, man. All right, Lieutenant Surge, done. 
Yeah, the match was electric. I knew he was going to use some kind of electricity pun. So next video, I'm going to be back in Cerulean City and heading on to, or making my way to Rock Tunnel. Hopefully with all these graphical, or whatever, issues fixed.